Good morning, this is Nitya Jacob and I'm going to answer a few questions about the advantages and utilities of testing sewage for the presence of the coronavirus. The first question would be, what is this whole process? It's called wastewater-based epidemiology. Now, epidemiology is a method to assess the progress of disease and the occurrence of a disease in a population, not in individuals. So when you test sewage or wastewater, the process is called wastewater-based epidemiology. Testing sewage for the presence of virus indicates if there are people within a certain population that have been infected or are infected or were infected in the past. And it helps to ascertain a range of population, a range of numbers in a particular community or population who may have been infected or are infected at the moment. On the basis of that, authorities can take further measures such as deciding individual testing or quarantine or red zones or green zones. Uh, it, wastewater based epidemiology or WBE has a fairly long history. It has been used over the last several decades uh, by health authorities to track the incidence of polio. And the assumption is, or the, uh, the, the assumption is that polio patients shed the virus in the stools. And it is the same assumption that has been found to hold true for COVID patients. Because they are pati uh, COVID is caused by the severe acute resp respiratory syndrome coronavirus 2. It's a new, new kind of virus. Uh, other SARS viruses have been found in the stools of patients of SARS epidemics. And tests from February onwards this year have indicated that the virus is now present in the stools of patients. And in fact, it is a far more sensitive way of ascertaining the occurrence of COVID in a population. People start shedding the virus in about three days or four days after they're infected and continue shedding the virus for about four weeks in their stools. So if sewage is tested and the virus is found, it can be safely assumed that somebody in that catchment area of the sewage uh, from where we've tested the sewage has the coronavirus. At the moment, testing in India is fairly limited. Given the size of the population, we haven't done sufficient testing. And multiple articles by medical experts have pointed to this. Now, the advantage of using WBE or testing sewage for COVID is that from one point, you can collect sewage. And if the virus is found, you can safely assume that there is someone in that sewer shed, sewer shed who has the coronavirus. To make it meaningful, it doesn't make sense to test from sewage treatment plants but from smaller geographic areas such as a ward or even smaller than that. Now, in the Indian context, it's important to remember that sewage systems are highly fragmented. Just about a third of the cities have a sewer system, underground sewer system or a sewage treatment plant. And the rest of them actually rely on a combination of septic tanks, pit toilets or open defecation. <clears throat> now, the sewage testing is possible, is ideal, if you have an underground sewage system connected to sewage uh, treatment plants because you can demarcate them and then select points where sewage from certain colonies collect and collect and uh, test them from there. You can also, in the case of unsewered localities, you can also use uh, fecal sludge treatment plants, of which there are quite a few in the country, to do similar tests. Now, these will reveal whether within that sewer shed, sewer shed there are infected people. Doing it at a sewage treatment plant level will also reveal it, but it may not be as useful because the population 
from whom the sewage kind of flows into that STP is going to be very huge. So in terms of taking action or decision, it's going to be extremely hard. <clears throat> in spite of multiple organizations having done sewage testing and having found the COVID virus, the coronavirus in uh, sewage water in this country, there's been examples from Chennai, Ahmedabad, Jaipur, Bangalore, and Bombay, Mumbai. But in spite of that, there has been no government, official government uh, sanction for this kind of testing. And I have it on good authority that the municipal corporations in these cities have not been extremely cooperative. They have supported the testing in some way, but they have not been uh, gung-ho about it. And while it seems that the authorities have developed a protocol, it is still awaiting cabinet clearance before it can be rolled out. The apprehension, of course, is that this kind of testing will be extremely difficult to... The apprehension is that should this testing be taken up at large scale, it will be extremely difficult to control the narrative because it is likely that the number of people who have been infected by the virus or exposed to the virus is going to be much, much higher than what has been found through individual tests. At the moment, even the immunoglobin antibody tests have shown that uh, the seroprevalence of the virus in, the pop in, in populations is much higher than what was previously assumed. And we can safely say that so testing sewage from cities is going to reveal a much steeper trend, a much higher rate of infection, which is probably why the decision not to release the protocol and the guidelines officially has not been taken yet. 